Hey, it's Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com. Uh, in today's video, I have this 01 KX250, and um, I just did a video on the shock removal, and this bearing is completely gone, and the it was kind of wearing on this uh, Unitrack rocker, and I'm gonna have to remove it and get it repaired. Uh, I don't know if the the press fit will still be there for the bearing. So, um, also, the, the rest of the bearings, this feels a little notchy, and then this one has a little play in it. So I'm going to remove this whole thing and, and rebuild it. And as well as the bearings here on the swing arm, they're just uh, dirty, dry, a little bit of rusty. So, um, it definitely needs to be rebuilt. So, uh, just do a quick video on re removing all this. So what you need is a 19 mil and a 17 mil. Let's go ahead and remove this guy first. Let's try and, uh, that's what I'm going to have to do by hand. And I already loosened it up. I didn't want to bust the knuckle on the video camera. That bolt is completely wedged in there. Thing will not move. Well, guys, after a lot of cussing, I got it out. Um, and I definitely didn't want to show that on video, man. I used an air hammer, a bunch of uh, these guys. I mean, the bolt was completely rusted in here. I couldn't, I couldn't, it won't even, it, I couldn't move it. And uh, just look how rusted these bearings are. So definitely shot. And here's the damage I'm talking about with the shock bearing. This part here is 140 bucks new, so I'm gonna have to find a way to to fix this. Uh, what I'll probably do is uh, I have access to machine shop, so we'll do a bore a bigger hole, put a sleeve in there, so I can uh, retain the press fit. Um, but look at that; it's all hogged out. That sucks, man. So I guess I'm always going to have an issue with this. It looks like I'm going to go through a bearing or two per year from what I've read. So, uh, yep. Let's see if we can press out these bearings. All right, here's the fun part. Look at this. Look how rusty this is and all the needles. I really don't look forward to... Uh, pressing these out. I've had cages break on me and I just... Oh, man.
All right, so what I have here is a smaller socket on this side, larger socket on that side. I'm going to heat the shit out of this thing. And hopefully the bearings come out. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Nothing. Starting to move. So just uh, apply heat, tighten, apply heat, tighten.
Let's just take this out and see where we're at. Well guys, I think I'm taking this to work and doing it in a press. Um, you can see how to do it with the vise. Uh, I got a really small vise and I just don't have the patience for this. I'm going to take it in and uh, press them out, sandblast it, and uh, see what I can do with that. So, stay tuned. Alright, so the swing arm bearings are alright. I think I'm just going to re-grease those and, and slap them back together, but these are shot right here. So, um, let's, uh, let's dig out the seals. Same thing on the bottom. Get that seal out. All right, let's see how this setup works. Uh, I've been heating this. Uh, for a few minutes now, just all the way around. I have an 18 mil socket here, a 30 mil there. So basically I'm pushing the bearings into that socket there with this uh, huge C-clamp. So let's just see if this works here. Alright, it's moving nicely, so that's good. Goes a second one. All right, let me just see what kind of progress I've made here. Let's keep going. Awesome. Something's going smooth tonight. That's good. Alright, so we'll clean the bore. These things are just completely shot, man. They're so rusty. So. Alright, so the bore is clean. I put a thin film of grease on there. I'm using Bell Ray waterproof grease. I also grease the bearings uh, a little bit. I'll, I'll add more once I'm done, but uh, basically I just don't want the needles to fall out all over the place. So. Um, that's why I did that.
this may be a little tricky. All right, so that's deep enough for that one. C-clamp works perfect for the seals. Just load it up with grease. As much as it'll take.
hope I never have to do this again. Some on the new shaft. All right, wipe off the excess uh, excess uh, grease on the outside here. Make sure that the seal lips. Pass the spacer. And then grease it. Do it once a year at least, or every 10, 15 hours, or whatever. All right, so I'm going to re grease this in a little bit. I got, I'm going to take these. The bearings are fine. I'm not going to go through the headache of replacing it. I'm just going to take this and clean it up at a wire wheel, but overall it looks fine. The bearings have no play and, you know, I didn't order the kit, so I'm just going to leave it. All right, so I had an issue with this piece here. Um, this bearing was totally shot. The cage was gone, and the clevis of the shock and the bolt was just pounding away and eating away at this bottom surface here. I mean there was about if I took the new bearing and dropped it in there was like a eighth inch three sixteenths gap all the way down here. So the way this was repaired is uh, <clears throat> I got a friend who's good at TIG welding, TIG welding and um, <clears throat> he was able to fill that with weld and uh, we mounted it in a bridge port and he also bored a hole which was two thou smaller than the bearing. So this was completely repaired. Uh, now I got the bearing in here nice and tight and um, and also the new bearings pressed in. Uh, I'm using Bellray waterproof grease and I try to pack in as much grease as possible into these bearings here before I insert the sleeve. So sorry I couldn't show uh, a video on I'm pressing it in, but uh, you know I have a nice setup at work with an arbor press and a hydraulic press and whatnot, so um, it was definitely easier. Um, just to show you how bad I mean that that's the hydraulic press popped this cage out, and then this bearing here. Only half of the race was was there. The needles were completely gone. The seals were gone, and it was in the top here, and it was just pounding away down here. So, I'm glad I was able to repair that. This piece right here is about 140 bucks, um, and I didn't see any on eBay, um, and they probably have the same issue anyway. So, um, so that's good. So let's get back on the bike and uh, start putting this back together. Ready to put the linkage back together here. Um, this bolt here, I had to order a brand new one along with the nut. Uh, cost me 20 bucks shipped my door for these two parts. So I should have used a little more care when uh, removing this bolt, but basically it's so rusted and I, I was driving at an angle and uh, I left the nut loosely on the threads and I was pounding on the nuts and the nut got damaged and also the threads on the bolt. Um, if I were to do it all over again I probably would have pounded on the center of this this hole here but it was badly rusted in there and I couldn't I couldn't salvage it and it's a goofy thread it's like one and a half 1.5 millimeter pitch so um, oh well. Alright so let's put this guy back on. Again, the washer goes 
on the side here, on both sides. I'm going to just start with this one first. By the way, I greased my bolts. And another washer goes right here. And then it almost looks like you have to put the washer in first. It sits in that little recess here. Alright, so that feels real nice. Put your nut on. A 17 mil you're going to need here. And we're going to torque it to 60. Let me double check that. Sixty-one foot pounds. Alright, here we go, sixty-one foot pounds. Alright, let's reattach the lower portion here. Same thing, I had a zip tie on here so I won't lose any of the spacers. There, there goes one of them. A little wrench for that. Twenty five foot pounds for this nut. Alright, next up you can put these washers on here. Again, I've greased up the bolts. Just put the washer on here. Washer on the back side here. And you can put the other link on. the nut. I'm going to have to lower the wheel a little bit. Perfect.
followed by your last washer on this side. And nut. All right, again, 61 foot-pounds on these. All right, last one down here. Extension. All right, that all looks good. See that right there? I can move it, move the rear tire an inch up and down and nothing's happening. So it looks like right here, the shock bearing is shot. All right, so all the bearings are new here, including the shock bearing. I left the top shock bearing alone. It was in good shape and it's the same as the lower bearing and from what I've heard these bearings don't last long down here you know especially this one so I want an extra bearing for down low um, so I chose not to replace the top one but in any case you remember how much slop was in the beginning of this and I'm moving it up and down and I don't feel any play so that's that's awesome man it's super tight 